Historic Environment Scotland introduced the Conservation Area Regeneration Scheme funding programme 10 years ago as a way to support local area-based economic regeneration throughout Scotland. The funding programme, commonly referred to as CARS, provides financial support towards projects and initiatives delivered over a five-year period, including a repair programme for priority projects, a small grant scheme for homeowners and retailers, community engagement and educational activities, and the provision of training opportunities for traditional craftspeople. Thomas Knowles, Head of Grants at Historic Environment Scotland, has been involved with the CARS funding programme since its introduction. CARS is all about devolving decisions and funding to the local level. Over the last 10 years, the CARS programme has delivered some £41.8 million of Historic Environment Scotland funding into 63 separate projects spanning 59 of our conservation areas across the whole of Scotland. This funding has brought in over £204 million of additional investment. On top of this, the CARS provides funding directly for training, education and outreach opportunities. This is where the legacy of the programme is delivered. Kirkwall, capital of the Orkney Islands, is currently undergoing a transformation through Conservation Area Regeneration Scheme funding from Historic Environment Scotland. There's been a significant investment in the town through the cash because obviously that money from the cash is multiplied by the private investment by the applicants themselves and that's been quite colossal here in Capital. Orkney's second largest town, Stromness, was faced with businesses closing, reducing employment and run-down buildings and infrastructure. The CARS funding has regenerated Stromness through investing in the buildings, the public realm and by undertaking community-driven projects to enhance knowledge and appreciation of the town's heritage. This is an outstanding conservation area that was going into decline with lack of investment. But since we've had the car scheme, I would say that there has been more support for new investment and new businesses opening too. Port Soy is a town with a close relationship to the sea. Located on the stunning Murrayfirth coast, the buildings around the attractive A-listed harbour formed the backbone of the CARS project. I don't think I've ever worked on um, a project that has involved the community to such an extent and really it's down to them that the schemes have progressed so well. Once the very crucible of Scotland's industrial revolution, Falkirk is now a top tourist location, with the Kelpies and Falkirk Wheel both drawing inspiration from the area's heritage. Falkirk Town Centre, like many in Scotland, is facing stark challenges, and it is now more important than ever to protect and create a high-quality, enjoyable environment to serve both community and visitors. The Falkirk Cars has been really, really successful. It's one of the largest funding awards we've received from Historic Environment Scotland and uh, has made a big difference to Falkirk Town Centre. We've had our challenges and the Cars was a significant part of our town centre regeneration strategy. Working closely with Gorebridge Community Development Trust, Gorebridge Cars has supported the delivery of educational, training and volunteering opportunities for the local community resulting in a renewed interest in the area's unique history and heritage. People have got a bit more confidence about the future and that's really to do with all the engagement work that we've done and people appreciating their history and heritage. Uh, and one of the big things is a lot of new people are coming into Goldbridge, new families coming in as part of the new housing developments and people, new people coming in and appreciating what's been done over the last few years as well as existing residents as well. Campbelltown is located on the southern tip of the Kintyre Peninsula. In 2007, Argyll and Butte Council secured funding from Historic Environment Scotland for one of their first conservation area regeneration schemes. I'd like to think the entire community has benefited from the car scheme. Um, from businesses and property owners in the town centre have benefited from grant funding for repairs to their buildings local contractors who've carried out the work. The project's really helped to galvanise the community. There's real civic pride in Campbelltown, and that can only be good for the future. Historic Environment Scotland is committed to the CARS programme, and as such, I am pleased to announce a further £10 million of funding has been made available. If you have a project which you would like to take forward, please do contact us.
For further information about the CARS funding programme, please visit our website historicenvironment.scot.